Let's look at question 8. January 2018, CSEC Maths paper. It says a sequence of figures is made from toothpicks of unit length. Unit length means you don't specify a unit like inches, centimeters, meters, and so on. But whatever it is, it is one of that. All right. The first three figures in the sequence are shown below. All right, unit length, that means one. Figure one. Figure 2, figure 3. Draw figure 4 of the sequence. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens here. When you draw figure 4 of a sequence, I have it copied here. So let's use this board to do it. So you have, you start with a triangle here. Good. As figure 1 has 1 triangle, figure 2, 2 triangles, figure 3, 3 triangles. So you expect figure 4 to have 4 triangles. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4 triangles. Good. Then, as for the roof, you have, or you could say, yeah, for the roof, for the triangles, you have none in figure 1, uh, 0 in figure 1, 1 in figure 2, 2 in figure 3, so that's 4 in figure 4, 1, no, 2 in figure 3, so that's 3 in figure 4, 1, 2, 3, alright, so this would be figure 4, alright, so that's figure 4 of the sequence. We look at part B of figure of the question now. It says, study the patterns of numbers in each row of the table below. Each row relates to one of the figures in the sequence of figures above. Some rows have not been included in the table. Complete the rows numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Right. So let's see what happens. Complete the rows numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4. Figure 1, 2, 3, 4. Number of toolpicks in the pattern 3, 7, 11. Let's just look at it. Verify. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five, six, seven, good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So it would be fifteen here. So Number of toothpicks would be 15. Right. Then, <coughs> the perimeter of the figure. You have 0 plus 1 plus 2 and so on. So, 0 plus 1 plus 2. I guess it's none at the top, plus one at the bottom, plus two of the at the sides. Good. So it's top, bottom, sides. Top plus bottom plus sides. One top, two bottom, two sides. So that's here, one at the top, two at the bottom, one, two, side. One, two sides. Oh, it's perimeter. Perimeter. 
right one at the top two at the bottom one two at the sides good perimeter two plus three plus two two top two bottom two top three sides let's see if that is the case two top three bottom one two sides so two top three bottom two sides all right in this case we see what happens it would be one two three top three at the top so it would be three here plus how many do we have at the bottom one two three four at the bottom so that's plus four plus well the number at the side still remain two one two we're looking at the perimeter the distance around the figure and that's two good <coughs> so see we'll see if we can start building a pattern 19 plus 20 plus 2 now all right let me kind of line this up more with what is going on up here so this two let me try and put it under here this two all right and then the four let's put it below this tree here so let's put the four here and then this tree let's put it here okay so here now equals four and three seven eight nine now let's see if we can come up with something some sort of pattern which which one would this be all right zero one two three so for this figure figure one one minus one is zero for figure two let's see which number it starts with figure two two minus one is one and start with one figure three three minus one is two and it starts with two figure four four minus one is three and it starts with three all right so we could go from here to see the figure zero plus one is one figure one one plus one is two that's figure two two plus one is three and this is figure three three plus one is four and this is figure four 19 plus one is what 20 so from what's going on we say this is figure 20 so that's figure 20 here all right now the number of toothpicks what would that be we need to fix fix this up see if we can come up with something so and we could have seen it like from this to you know the middle number one figure one is one figure two two figure three three figure four four so figure 20 20 would be in the middle right we could do it that way as well now let's see what's happening here we need the number of toothpicks 3 and 4 is 7 7 8 9 10 11 7 and 4 is 11 11 and 4 15 we can see that each time we add 4 to these numbers but what we want to do is link the figure number to the number of toothpicks 
see if we can come up with some formula that matches the figure with the number of two picks all right or match the sum here with the number of two picks so that we can fill in the number of two picks here one two three what we see here is that three two three two six and one seven I'm seeing something here if I link the figure with the sum the end number here the sum one times two is two two plus one is three two two is four and one is five three two six plus one is seven so I'm playing around with it here 1 times 2 plus 1 is 3 and I get 3 for the sum 2 times 2 plus 1 is 5 and I get 5 for the sum 3 times 2 plus 1 is 7 which is the sum 4 times 2 plus 1 is 9 and I get 9 for the sum alright good now what I want here yeah that's just another pattern I see but uh, what I want here is the number of toothpicks so 5, 7, 9 7 3 plus 0 is 3 oh 3 plus 0 is 3 5 and 2 7 7 and 3 10 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 9 and 6 15 mm. let's see 4 3 is 12 3 3 is 9 1 by 3 is 3 2 3 is 6 if I say 1 times 3 plus 0 is 3 2 by 3 plus 1 2 3 6 and 1 7 3 by 3 plus 2 3 3 is 9 plus 2 is 11 here I say 4 by 3 is 12 plus 3 4 3 is 12 and 3 13 mm. it seems as if I could say 20 20 by 3 plus something plus what plus whatever would start these figures notice um, I just figured something out 1 by 3 if I multiply the figure by 3 figure by 3 plus the first number here figure by 3 2 by 3 plus this first number here 1 this figure by 3 3 by 3 plus this first number here which is 2 4 by 3 the figure by 3 plus this first number here which is 3 so this figure 20 by 3 plus this first number which is 19 what would happen it seems as if it would work it works so far for the other the other figures so let's see 20 by 3 is 60 plus 19 would be 79 so it seems as if it would be 79 that would come here so it's 79 all right 79 that would be here all right now this is saying 127 but before we go to 127 
this would seem to be that is the figure n figure times 3 plus now this 19 here is 20 minus 1 this 3 here is 4 minus 1 this 2 here is 3 minus 1 this 1 here is this 2 minus 1 this 0 here is this 1 minus 1 so you seem as if the first number we have is the figure minus 1 alright trace it and you see the pattern so it's the figure this figure that we multiply by is going to be the, this number that we multiply by is going to be the figure minus 1 plus so it is n minus 1 close bracket so it is the figure number by 3 plus the figure number minus 1 alright see that so here is what that's what really would be happening so what you have for this figure it would be n minus 1 plus the figure number it would be n plus and the n number 2 equals whatever it is all right n minus 1 plus n plus 2 that's n minus 1 plus n plus 2 would be when you put like terms together I'm figuring out this part n minus 1 plus n plus 2 so this would be n plus n minus 1 plus 2 for this so 2n it was 2n negative 1 plus 2 is 1 plus 1 so it would be 2n plus 1 when you simplify this 2n plus 1 here let me just rewrite this part I seem to have messed up a bit let's go back to it alright good I want here to be a little neater is 2n plus 1 it would be so it's 2n plus 1 all right good now about the 127 what would happen here you notice the figure number here let me just delete the rough work that I had before this was rough work all right so the 127 which figure would it be based on my calculation here I want to put in this formula and equate it to 127 to find out what n is alright so n times 3 would be 3n and by the way let's rewrite this as 3n make it look a bit more sophisticated instead of saying n times 3 it is 3n plus n minus 1 nice looks a little better now so here now what 
what I have is 3n plus n minus 1 is equal to 127. I just want to know what, what n would be here. So 3n plus open the bracket n minus 1 equals 20 is equal 127 3 n plus n is 4 n is equal to 127 plus 1 which will be 128 so 4 n is 128 so n would be 128 over 4 which is 4 into 12 is 3 4 into, 8, 4 into 12 is 3 4 into 8 is 2 32 so this would be 32 then all right now to finish it off what would be the figures here we want to see what the figure here is we know the middle finger the middle figure is going to be the actual figure over here so it's 32 plus and the end would be 2 all right now here we have the first figure would be the figure number minus 1 so it would be 32 minus 1 and that would be 31 so 31 plus 32 that would be 63 plus 2 so we have 65 here so that seems to fill out everything alright alright fair enough everything would be filled out alright so it is saying 10 marks what that would suggest is that it would be the end of that question ah section 2 begins after so We'll just look at section 2 at a later date. So I'll see you when that time comes.